I'm sure this is something you've come across before. You have a big report in a worksheet in Excel like this one. Now, when you print the spreadsheet, you only get the headers on the first page. On all the following pages, you now have to guess which column header the number belongs to. It's very inconvenient to always flip back to the first page to find out what column 10, row 20 refers to. Fortunately, there is a handy little feature in Excel that lets you automatically repeat rows as well as columns on every page of your printout or your PDF document. Let me show you. This video is brought to you by Excel Essentials for the Real World. Learn Excel from scratch or fill in the gaps to become immediately confident. Discover hidden tips and tricks which get you working smarter, not harder. Click on the link below or type in xclplus.com slash courses. So here I have some sample profit development data for these apps. They go from January 2019 all the way to December 2020. So notice they take up a lot of space in the rows as well as the columns. If I go to print preview, this is going to print on four pages, which is not bad. But check this out. On the last page here, I have no clue what this 800 belongs to. I need to get the headers on both the row side as well as the column side repeated on each single page. There is an option for this. Let's go to page layout, to page setup, and let's go to more options here. Select sheet. Right here, we need to select the rows to repeat on the top. So whatever we select here is going to be repeated on every single page. We definitely want to have our months there. And we also want to get our columns repeated because remember on the last page, we don't see the columns either. Now let's go back to print preview and see how this looks. First page is nice. Second page, we get our headers here. Third page, we get our headers and we get our columns repeated. And the last page, we know what that 800 belongs to. Now, one thing I don't like about this is this page here where I selected the entire column. I can also see that writing that I had on top. Now, I don't want this in my report. It's enough to see profit development. So how can I get rid of that without deleting it? I can set my print area. So I'm just going to highlight the data only and the header that I want. Go to print area and set it. Now let's go to print preview. This page looks great and everything fits properly. Now one adjustment to this is to add page numbers. So whenever you're printing something that's more than two pages, it's good practice to add page numbers to it. And you can do it really quickly by going to page layout view. There are different ways you can get there. A fast way is to go down here and click on page layout. So this is the default, it's the normal view. This is the page layout view. In this view, you can see how your printed page is going to look and you can easily add headers and footers. So let's just click here to activate the header and footer options. You can type directly in there and you can use some of these elements that are directly available. So for example, you can put the file path, you can put the file name, you can add a logo, and you can put the current date or the current time. Now to add the page numbers, we need these two. Let's do that in the footer. So I'm just going to scroll down here, go back to header and footer and click on page number. It's also nice to see how many pages are in total. So I'm going to add a space type of and put in number of pages. So this way I see the current page and how many pages there are in total. How do I go back to normal view? I just have to click here. Another way of getting there is to go to the view tab here. Notice we're on page layout. I can switch to normal view also here. Now let's go back to print preview and we see one of four, two of four and four of four. That's today's printing tip. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and do consider subscribing if you haven't done so already so that I'll see you in the next video.